Hey, what's up everybody? Ted here, TNT Strength and Conditioning. It's been a while since we've done the uh, workout of the month. So I'm gonna go over the workout we did in the gym for our athletes for August, 2019, all right? Each workout has a warm up on the board. The warm up doesn't necessarily have to be um, done on the same day as the uh, workout. You can just kind of mix them up, take a quick look at the warm ups. You'll see we did uh, one round of each with squat, Pause squat, that's body weight stuff. Push ups for 15, kettlebell swings, kettlebell clean and press, five each arm, overhead carry, band pull apart, triceps that can be pushed down or extension, and then some leg raises, dip bar, lying, or bench leg raises, all right? Moving on to the workout, this is a lower body day where we're going heavy. We started off with our uh, box jumps for dynamic um, explosive power, five sets of three. Sometimes that's different height boxes, sometimes that's landing on one leg, leaving on two, or using weights. Um, you know, you can mix up those box jumps as you see fit. Then here you'll see the main part of the workout. We rotated one variation per, per week. So week one, week two, week three, week four. So it was a box squat, then a conventional deadlift, then a zercher squat, and an inch and a half block pull sumo. All right, the rep scheme, if we were working heavy, I have some athletes that are like kind of ready for that heavy um, lifting. They have the uh, neuromuscular coordination. So I let them go up heavy. And when you do a set of five, two sets of three, and three sets of one. So, um, you know, these first set of fives, kind of like a warm ups, first set of threes, warm it up. And then really it's a set of threes work and then three working sets of one, ending with uh, something hard. We always try to, um, not grind out our young athletes, but let them leave one in the tank or so, all right? Or sets of five sets of five would be the other rep scheme. So you got that, those, or five sets of five rotating through the exercise. Then to complement the lower body work, we're doing step ups, five sets, five each leg. That's various positions. One arm at your side, one arm in the rack, two arm at your side, two arm in the rack. Zercher style, we're uh, pretty much doing weighted. If the athlete's not ready for weighted, we're gonna do body weight only. Then we got sled drags, three sets, 100 foot, coupled with forward lunges, holding weights, three sets, six per leg. Then kettlebell shrugs, band pull-aparts, two sets, 10 reps there, double the reps and go 20 reps for the pull-aparts, overhand or underhand, and finish off with grip and ab. All right, give it a quick look. Crush that lower body workout, we'll move on to the upper. All right, here we go. We got our upper body. We got a one-man camera crew here, so you got to deal with it. All right, upper body. Of course, slogan of the month is our slogan every day. Work hard, feel good. We got walking lunges on the warm-up, 100 foot, recline row, wide set of push-ups for 10, close push-ups for 10, bounded jumps, 50 foot. That's the length of this gym is 50 foot. One-arm rack carry, so we're holding a kettlebell here. Down for 50, switch hands for 50, and then a sit-up reach-through where you're going to lie all the way back, knuckles touch the ground, come through into a sit-up, into a toe-touching stretch. So you're stretching behind you, sit up into a stretch, all right? Uh, real fan of those. All right, then we have our upper body, plyometric push-ups, starting off our day for our explosive power, six sets, three reps, clapping, chest slapping behind the back, alternating hands wide to close, close to wide, just the jumping for the upper body, basically. Then in the same um, fashion as our lower, we did our upper with that rep scheme, one of five, two of three, three of one, with the five sets of five, and we rotated one each week, a Swiss bar floor press, a bench with chains, and the, the amount of chains is dependent on the strength of the athlete, then an incline bench, or two and then a uh, two board press. The incline bench could have been a barbell uh, or dumbbells, and we mixed our uh, positioning with the hands on those depending on the athlete and their needs and their skill set. Then we coupled together. This was really challenging. Um, six rounds, six reps each, pull-ups and dips. Some guys can do weighted pull-ups. Some guys can do weighted dips, but it's hard to do weighted for all six sets of six, especially after the work that came ahead of that. Moving on, complementing as we go. Like all this stuff builds this, which then builds the athlete, all right? So keep that in mind. We got kettlebell bent over row, four sets of 10, band shoulder rotation, four sets of 10. So the row would be a wide stance for a set, close stance for a set. So think of it as like a deadlift, like a sumo stance and a conventional stance. And you would have four sets, so you do two of each. That's a, I'm a big fan of mixing it up that way for the athletes to keep their bodies uh, 
constantly working different positions. And the shoulder rotation is simply stand with a light band. We use the micro band only. We don't even use the, the mini band. Right foot, left hand, palm facing down. You're gonna twist to your palm faces forward or thumb up, however you like to think about it, and back to that starting position, nice and slow, shoulder health, all right? That rotation is key. All right, moving on, we uh, did three exercises together to finish off. Overhead carry, two sets of 100, weighted abs, two sets max, any way you wanna do it, chain sit-ups, chain planks, slam ball, atlas stone, however you wanna do it. You're holding weights and handling uh, an ab exercise, and then wrist curls, could be reverse wrist curls, dumbbell wrist curls, dumbbell reverse wrist curls. Just let's squeeze in the hand, squeeze on the forearm, work on uh, building that grip strength. All right. So let's move on to the last day of the week, um, which was a full body workout. This full body workout, as you can see, let me get the camera set there for you. Okay. So this full body workout, warm up, I'm a big fan of this warm up, sled drags forward for 100, sled drag backwards for 100, a lateral sled drag 50 foot down, 50 foot back, that could be where you're crossing your feet over or just kind of stepping to the side, as well as we would sometimes alternate that out and ditch the sled and do the hip circle, so lateral hip circle walking, we got the band around your uh, lower thighs right above the knees. Dumbbell bench for 10, shoulder press for 10, squats for 10, reverse lunge, five per leg. That could be alternating or finish one leg before you move on to the next. Band triceps, extensions or push downs, and then regular sit-ups for 15. All right, moving on to the workout, you're gonna see this uh, beginning was a bit of uh, plyometric and kind of conditioning. So we would lunge jump, object jump, battle rope, three rounds. All right, so the lunge jump, we're jumping big, now it's three per leg. So we're not trying to just shuffle our feet. We're trying to get maximum height, all right? Vertical jump coming out of a lunge. You're jumping straight up as high as you can, switching legs in the air. Object jump could be, we jump over hurdles. We jump over odd objects like the kegs or the atlas stones or the bench. Like I don't like athletes always jumping over something that looks like it should be jumped over because on the field, you may have to move out of things that aren't so convenient, convenient for jumping over. So you gotta learn to you know, adapt to what's in front of you. So object jump is one of my favorites because you get to pick and choose whatever the heck you want. And sometimes you can go jump over bodies, it doesn't matter. All right, battle ropes, sub max, three rounds, you're you know, switching your hand position. You can do them jumping or statically, and just move your upper body, all right? <clears throat> Moving on, this is a brutal circuit. Take a keg, bring it down for 50 foot, run back, grab the tire, flip it down for 50 foot, run back, Bear crawl, down for 50 foot, run back. Towards the end, as the athletes were getting better and more accustomed to it, we just modified it, made it a little bit harder by wrapping a band around their waist during the tire flip, and then also during the bear crawl, and for the sprint back. So you have one athlete holding back some band tension, so the uh, athlete working is constantly pushing. Brutal, but let me tell you, it makes these guys and gals way better. You can ask any of our athletes, this is an awesome circuit and it's very challenging. But why do we rotate out? We change the workout every month because what happens is you start to adapt to it. So your first week on this, it's gonna be hard. You're gonna, it's really gonna kill you. It's gonna kick your butt. By week two, you kind of, you know, you know what's, what's coming. Week three and four, you're gonna have to modify something because you're actually adapting to it and getting better. So we always have to change. So we change within the workout and the month, boom, new workout. All right, so moving on, we got shoulder squats, so we're using a slam ball or sandbag. That means you're gonna take the, say, slam ball, for example, bring it up to your shoulder, squat two reps, drop it down, bring it up to the other shoulder, squat two reps, all the way down, boom, drop that, kettlebell swing, three sets, four per arm, mean, so that's a one-arm swing, four, catch in the air, four kettlebell swings, repeat that three rounds. Then we got rope climb or rope sled, so athletes are either climbing up and down the rope, and that can be, um, if. They need to use their feet, they do, but they're trying not to. I like them to start on their butt, climb all the way to the top, climb back down out without using their legs, land back down on their butt. The ceiling in here is about, I don't know, 11 and a half feet tall, 12 feet, so it's not a very high rope. All right, so up and down as many times as you can, or the rope sled, we attach the rope to the end of a sled, get in a squat position, pull it hand over hand. Sometimes we'll sit in the tire, go extra heavy on the sled and really work on that grip and back like you would see in a strongman competition. 
Powerful stuff. Love this circuit. All right, then we got barbell curls, tricep rollback. So we would do an easy bar or barbell curl, four sets of six, tricep rollback, lying down on the ground, doing a tricep extension with the dumbbell where you roll the head of the dumbbell towards the head of the shoulder, elbow high, pushing through. All right, so we're not dropping and pressing. It's a tricep extension. All right, finishing off with three exercises for an ab circuit for two sets. You choose the three exercises and uh, get after it, all right? So here it is, September uh, is coming. September 1st, uh, I think is today. So we crush this for August, but you can do this anytime in the month. It's not specific to August, just when we did it, all right? So here's our workout, get after it, get after it yourself, and uh, have a good day.